everyone. I'm Elizabeth Palines of the PPS Southern Tagalog chapter and here to give you a little information on how to prepare your go bag. Disaster will always happen anytime, anywhere, whichever part of the world you're in. So we must be always expecting the worst to happen. Uh, but of course, it is our wish na sana hindi na lang. In this era of sudden emergencies, it is best to be prepared. Emergencies can be man-made, such as fires, war, terroristic attacks, chemical, toxic accidents. Or it can be natural, such as floods, landslides, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. So we must always have an emergency plan. And part of this emergency plan is making your go bag. So step one, let's make our go bag. So the go bag is a bag where you put in some essentials just in case you have to get out of the place you're in as fast as possible. So maraming situations yan. You can be stranded in a place or you're at home and then Merong mga natural disasters coming your way. So it's best to have your go bag. Pag pinulot mo, you're ready to go. And kahit pa paano, you may be a sur survivor. So it's a, actually a survivor bag. So maybe another attitude you can take is you're preparing for a zombie apocalypse. So step one, assemble the contents of your go bag. You may remove things depending on your needs or add. And maybe uh, think of the things you need kung meron kayong um, medications that are important. If there are young children or infants and this disabled family members to consider. And of course, it's important to know if your location has easy access to emergency re responders. So the basic um, disaster supply kit includes Water, which is enough for three days. Food, at least a three-day supply of non-perishable food. Battery-powered or hand crank radio. Flashlight. First aid kit. Extra batteries. Whistle. Dust mask. Plastic she sheeting and duct tape. With rope, just in case you need to shelter in place. Moist towelettes. Extra plastic bags to act as garbage bags and plastic ties. Manual can opener if you're considering lugging along canned foods, local maps, and cell phone with charges and backup battery. So on the left side is uh, the go bag recommended by the Philippine Red Cross. Very simple. So there'll be the lifeline kit, which contains your radio, flashlight, first aid kit, and potable water. Then other special items to include your drugs, medications, food, whistle, dust masks, spare batteries, utility rope and cord, and important documents. And again, special items for babies or the senior citizens or those with disabilities. What kind of foods do you need to put in the go bag? You must choose foods which are dry and with a long expiration date. Cans are heavy, but it can be considered because they are uh, sealed. So you may consider the one with the flip top para you don't need a can opener. But of course, they can be crushed, you know, and they may leak. So you might consider also using food packed in pouches. Protein bars and high-calorie high food bars are highly recommended because they are light, but they pack a lot of energy to keep you going. Dried meats such as beef or pork jerky, which do not require uh, additional storage uh, requirements. Nuts are a good source of protein and energy and can last long. Crackers, peanut butter, and these should be put in a Ziploc type of bag. What are the other stuff that you may consider? Well, choose the appropriate masks. Kasi in this era of COVID or volcanic eruption or smog, particulate, uh, we must choose which mask you want. Particulate respirators, for added protection for, from the dust and possible fumes, 
or just ordinary surgical masks to protect ourselves from other evacuees. You may add some face protection such as goggles or shields if strong winds and dust can be a problem, protect your eyes. Hand sanitizers and wipes, prescription medications, baby stuff like infant formula, diapers, clean water, consider footwear also as well. You may have some cash or an extra ATM with you. And again, extra clothes now for one day, footwear, which is light, so you don't know what kind of situation you'll be in. Small blanket, I would suggest a really good scarf or shawl can double as head protection gear or a mask or can also double as a blanket. So important din yung identification, especially if it's a family that you're concerned. Marami kayo sa bahay. It's possible na magkahiwahiwalay kayo. And of course, Pagdating po sa mga evacuation centers, it is important to have definite identification, di ba? So for kids and toddlers who may be separated from you no matter how hard, consider putting in an ID tag sa kanila when the time comes. Then of course, uh, what about other information? So if you have your phone with you, you can put in images or pictures of your national ID, birth certificates, bank accounts your coded bank account numbers, passwords, and of course, your updated contact list. Now, if there's some difficulty, I would recommend having some of the information stored in the cloud. So anytime you have access to your email, you can get all the information you need pertaining to your identification. So you can also put in a hard copy such as uh, the Xerox copies of your passport, your senior card, or whatever. But ako, easy na yan because we have the cloud. The other thing is you may use a USB which stores all your information. Now, other helpful hints include using collapsible bottles and cups. So you may use a ano to, mineral uh, water na nakalagay sa standard commercial mineral bottle. No? Pero the practical thing is to use this sturdier form of collapsible cup, bottles and cups to refill your water. You can also put in the ever-ready Swiss knife na maraming functions. Pwede may flashlight mode, knife, spoon and fork, screwdriver, keychain. This is again another example of a collapsible water bag. Buka siyang IV bag eh. So that yung refill mo, uh, mas madali than using a commercially um, commercial bottle. No? So these are all available sa mga sports stores specializing in camping as well as on the internet such as Lazada. Now that's step one, what to put in your go bag. Now step two is it's all about the bag. Anong klaseng bag ang gagamitin? Siyempre, for me, you can choose any bag you want. Pwede rin kahit anong container, duffel bag, plastic bag, garbage bag na matibay. But for me, I would recommend a backpack. Kasi yung backpack keeps your hands free. So you can put it on your back, madun na lahat, and you still have your two hands to get a person or whatever other added stuff you want. Your backpack should have extra pockets, places where you can hang the stuff, extra stuff. It should be durable. So check the stitching. Sana double or triple stitch. Baka kasi you pack too much and suddenly it bursts. Then it should be waterproof or weather resistant. Strap should be wide and cushioned para comfortable sa'yo. And of course, they should have double zippers. So this is an example of a go bag that you can buy online. And in this case, meron po siyang protective helmet. No? That helmet, lalo pag lindulo ang pinag-uusapan, can help protect your head from falling debris. Okay? Now, you can also use two go bags as long as you can carry them without injuring yourself. Sometimes if your bag is too heavy, it can uh, hamper your movement and maybe make escape more difficult. So step three, how to maintain your go bag. So you should regularly check your go bag kasi nandiyan na yan eh. So every two or three months or so, please check the contents. Baka inaamag na kasi. So keep your canned food, kung meron man, in a cool, dry place. 
box food in tightly closed plastic or metal containers, replace your expired items as needed, and you can rethink your needs every year or so, update your kit depending on your family's needs. Step four, making it grab and go. So you must place your go bag in a designated place, easily accessible if there is a need to get out as soon as possible. Orient your family members about the go bag, the contents, and location. If possible, please conduct regular drills for this. Where to put the bag, when to get it, how to use the whistle, flashlight, and masks, etc. If need be, make go bags for each family member who is capable of carrying such. You can also create emergency mini go bags for car, place of work, or when you travel. Personally, I have an emergency kit when I travel because sometimes you never know. You can get stranded in a place and you don't have your change of clothes as your luggage is already checked in. So it is a great idea and I may suggest it to pediatricians who love to travel. And make sure that your go bag is portable and easy to carry. Other tips. You can also utilize belt bags, which can contain your first aid and medications or cash. So you can just wrap around so may extra ka na, na stuff to put, uh, to put in. So this time, before I end, I would like to show you my actual go bag. I prepared this during the time when there was this big earthquake during one of our PPS conventions. So medyo, ah, oh, what happens kaya if there's another one? And I live in Batangas. So this is the go bag that I chose. So the, the Philippine College of Surgeons uh, gave each one of the members a first aid kit. So hiningi ko sa asawa ko to and modified it. So this bag, as you know, is sturdy enough with appropriate signs. This is reflector, reflectorized tape. So at least makik makikita mo yan in the dark, hopefully. Then uh, there are, there's this the main, main content. And this is the side pockets. Ito po yung likod. So the zippers are double. Tapos may mga straps yan to keep everything in place. Additional pockets. And look at this. Wide uh, belts yung sa likod. And cushion para comfortable. Okay. Then when you open it up, it's, it's laid down flat. And ito po yung laman ng first aid kit. Sinama ko na at that time. Of course, don't forget your trusty old pen. And minsan, if you, pwede mong gawin tong upuan eh, sitting mat, no? Kasi waterproof. So yung ganitong bag is okay. Ito po yung laman ng aking go bag. So masks here. This is a document uh, bag wherein my data is. Yung mga printed forms. Toilet paper. Then uh, electrolyte drink as well as distilled water. Tapos ito po ay alcohol. I have a little pouch for money, yung the one with the cat in it. There's betadine, that's the flashlight. May scissors, spoon and fork, and whistles. Okay? These are medications, basic lang po, paracetamol and painkillers. Tapos, the food that I choose to bring to be in protein bars and nuts. No? Then I have this um, resuscitator kit. Saka may mag-cardiac arrest. Pwede ako, ako mag-mouth to mouth from here. This is are my extra underwear. Then my extra clothes. I also have this uh, radio with a uh, flashlight pa nga. And the batteries are rechargeable. So, ang radio is important because at least you will know what's happening or how the world or the other parts of the country are reporting our disaster. And it can point us to the right direction on where the first aid responders will be coming. No? So... This one naman are the masks, again, the document bag. So ito po yung laman ng aking go bag. And, after, and on top of this is a beach mat actually. Na waterproof yung ilalim. Kasi I'm thinking baka may bata who needs to be, to be resting. Ayoko naman sa dirt siya. So dapat meron tayong supply ng rope. Wala kasi akong rope. So ginamit ko po yung pantali po sa mga grocery. Yung ganyan. Pero sturdy enough naman yan eh. And of course, at the end of the day, after having it packed, tinimbang ko, 60 pound, 16 pounds. Ibig sabihin, it's a manageable weight, now, which will not hamper my escape. 
Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is my uh, short talk about the go bag. And thank you for, kind, for your kind attention. Good day. Oh,